Seeing yourself in the uniform reminds you how much you want this and how much you need to work to get it. Today is uniform fitting, so it's kind of like wedding dress day. Massage you up. Okay. This is the moment where they literally feel the fabric of our uniform that they've seen in pictures and television and movies, and they're putting on their Superman cape. It's a very exciting day. Lauren, how's it feel? It feels like I never want to take it off. <laughs> Those shorts are short. It's getting shorter. <laughs> All right, we're going to pull and poke and... Yeah. We're making a cheerleader. <laughs> Yet each girl has different measurements, so that's why me and Lisa are measuring and folding and pulling and tugging to make this uniform a custom garment for each girl. Do we need to change her shorts? She needs it cut to fit her hips. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, the belt's on. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Courtney. I always smile when I see Courtney. <laughs> We're going to pull and poke on you a little okay. bit. What's your okay. natural cup size? I'm um, a D. Oh, you are a D? Yes. From East Texas D, or did you buy it? No, it's real. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, you look great. They're talking bras and fixing your bust area. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of padding. Too much, still too much. Lisa, how little are you making those? I'm just having all kinds of fun. <laughs> I mean, she Leave me alone. <laughs> Our uniform total probably has less than three yards of fabric to perform in front of millions. It's not much. Ashley came in, and then she turned around. I forgot about her tattoo. Um, this is makeup. That's some crazy makeup. That's because she's got a crazy tattoo. <sighs> I hate tattoos. My mother put fabric paint on it, <laughs> and then I put Dermablend over it. It looked like the plaster peeling off of a swimming pool. OK, our uniform usually looks better without big runs like this. Oh, my goodness. So she goes and changes. She comes back. Lisa, what size shorts are those? These are mediums. Now her shorts don't fit. New shorts. I was looking, and there was something weird going on with her blouse and her bra. My mom took it apart okay. and basted it a little bit further. Basted? It. Yes, ma'am. I think that um, everything that could have gone a little bit wrong uh, did. But hopefully I can fix all the things that they want me to, and then I might get a real one with stars and fringe. She's back in the uniform. Yeah, I'm excited. You get to keep it this time. This is not my first time to feel this excitement and nerve to turn on the uniform, but it's still just as special. Oh, hi. Well, yeah. yeah. Your uniform was too last year, but I know you fit everything so perfectly. Wouldn't that be neat if I went in there and it had Brittany written in it? Your uniform is exactly the same as last year. Wow, consistency, that's a good thing. I was so terrified that they were going to make me try on the uniform that I had the first time. You can move in this blouse. Which they did. Looky there. Look <laughs> <laughs> on the bottom. I was to say, I think you've failed out a little in five years. OK. OK, Melina Milana, what's your Caesar going to become double Ds after my tie? <laughs> the magic in the blouse is in the knot. Ooh. Wow. And it's a Kelly knot. And I have been tying those knots now since 1984. And I can do it with my eyes closed and asleep. I think this is, hold your breath. A D. OK. It's like being in the corset. See, I knew there had to be a trick to this. That's the trick. <laughs> that gets tied. Bra, oh, that's why we don't need the gold. I think so. Oh, wow, one. you tie it tight. We have something for you. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was expecting coming in and getting refitted for my uniform, and Lisa hands me my actual uniform from last year. I'm so excited. What a surprise. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. OK, I'm not giving it back this year, though. <laughs> last year, when I got cut, and Jessica hugged me, and I remember saying, I got cut because we're supposed to make it together. <laughs> So I'm hoping this year. <laughs> I've auditioned three times for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. So it's now or never. This is the first time that we both made it into training camp. So it's really <laughs> exciting. And we're just super happy that we get to go through this process together. I've okay. got her in a small short, but it seems to fit her. Turn around. I think it looks good. It looks really nice. I don't want to take it off. 
We are working with Lisa, our there seamstress. You <laughs> Thank you. This uniform is 47 seasons into its lifespan. It's a symbol of sports, pop culture, and entertainment. It's a symbol of excellence, and it's celebrated in the Smithsonian Museum. We're seeing somebody from New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> So I know you do fitness and dance, but mm -hmm. is it something you'd want to do as a career? If I were to make it, I'm going until my body's done dancing. So how do your parents feel about this? My mom calls me nonstop, which is, it's great. I need my mom there. She's just a little sad because she is a huge oh, wow. Steelers fan. Tell your mother that Terry Bradshaw lives around here. I never thought that I would have the courage or confidence to be here today, and I'm super excited for this journey. Alexandra? This is Alexandra's fifth year, right? In That's our right. audition process. Oh my goodness. What makes you keep coming back? Don't make me tear up, Kelly. <laughs> I thought it was a simple question. The uniform? This is the first time you've made it to this phase. I did my makeup really good today. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Auditioning year after year and finally making it to training camp and then making it to uniform fittings. It's just, it's surreal. It gives you that extra fire.